Peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today's Gospel, according to St. Luke, invites us the narration that Herod Antipas wanted to see Jesus. He was a man of anxious and perplexed personality. He was one of the tetrarchs, four governors of the region of Palestine. And he ruled Galilee and most of Jesus' time he was the one who was ruling the district, the region of Galilee. And he was the son of great Herod. And he was the one who killed John the Baptist. And he is the only king who had seen the two great personalities in the world lived in his region, John the Baptist and our Lord Jesus Christ the Messiah. And he wanted to see Jesus. He said to himself, I only killed John the Baptist. Here is another person, I do not know who was he. So he wanted to see Jesus and he was anxious to see Jesus. Why? Because he considered Jesus as one of the wonder workers and gymnastic persons walked in his court. So he expected and considered and kept Jesus in the grade of the gym gymnastic persons. He heard about the miracles worked by Jesus. So he wanted to see Jesus. He had no remorse or con contrite heart. He had no heart for forgiveness. He never wanted to open his heart for the absolution of so much of his criminals. But he wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to see Jesus to see his miracles, not to have faith, not to have forgiveness, not to have absolution of sins, yet he wanted to see Jesus. Jesus was sent to him during, the, during his trial. Jesus happened to be from the region of Galilee. Pontius Pilate, knowing this, sent him to Herod Antipas for further inquiry. When Herod Antipas heard that Jesus was there in his court, he was so anxious and perplexed to see Jesus as he was thinking that he would do so many miracles. Jesus was a person who did these miracles only there is a great expression of faith. Jesus never did any miracle or little, did very little in Nazareth because they did not have much faith. So Jesus always did miracles when there is expression of faith. Expression of faith from Canaanite woman Expression of faith from the centurion. Expression of faith from the blind man of Bethsaida. Expression of faith from two blind men who were sitting on Jericho, on the way to Jericho. Always there was expression of faith and there was miracle. Here there is a man who wanted to see miracle without any faith. Jesus never, never spoke even a single word because he was a person of lukewarmness and indifference. He never wanted to open his heart to the mercy of God. 
So he spoke to Judas Iscariot, Pontius Pilate, and so many other enemies of that time. But he never spoke to Herod Antipas because he was a person of indifference. Jesus can be seen today. He lives today in the Eucharist. He lives today in the Word of God. If we want to see him, let us see, let us look at him as the person who was sitting on the roadside, though blind, saw Jesus. Let us see Jesus like this man, not like Herod Antipas. Jesus lives in the Eucharist. Let us sit quietly and look at him. Let us read and reflect the word of God. God lives in the word of God. Also, the Lord lives with the rejected, the downtrodden, all those, the poor of the society. Let us learn to meet this Jesus. Let us imitate the faith of the man who sat at the pathway with the blindness, not like Herod Antipas. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us, Lord. Open our eyes of faith, Lord, so that we may see you, Lord. We may see you in our Eucharist. We may see you in reading and reflecting the word of God. You will meet us, Lord. You will heal all the wounds, Lord. All the inner wounds you will heal us. You will touch us. You will make us great, Lord. When we are touched by you, we will become a great person in the society. Help us to open our hearts to you, Lord. We are simple and sassy creatures. Strengthen our faith so that we may open our eyes of faith, open our heart for your great mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.